match. And we've seen the 12-round streak earlier today from Astralis. Yeah, That's man. what they went on. It's a 12 crazy. rounds in a row to close it. 4-1 down yeah. to a 13-4 victory. It's, it's kind of wild. Even even in the first map against Ents, right, on Overpass, they went on, I think it was like a 9-round streak, something like that. Maybe, maybe an 8-round streak, like right in the middle of the half. So like, Astralis at the moment feels like when they get it going and they start to get, they get into that flow and they find some of that momentum, they ride it and they ride it hard and it, and it treats them very, very well. Um, so it's going to be up to Ents to prevent that from happening or put a stop to it earlier before it gets out of control. Pistol round going live. Third and final map in the series between Ents and Astralis. Semi-final spot on the lines for the winner of this map. Straight away into the pistol. Astralis grouping together. Now, a lot of these Glock pistols from Astralis have been heavy team plays, just running in and exploding with early kills, but look at Ence's response. It's kind of the opposite maneuver. They're pushing through A. Well, and they, it's, the question is how fast do they want to go with it? So it's it's right out of the gate. They get to that choke point. They start moving forward. Utility being spent out towards that B bomb site. Though a little bit of a gap for nerds to work with. Nothing to be, nothing yeah, too easy expand. to exploit, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, the volumetric smoke expands before he can really make anything of it. Astralis put the bomb down at a minimum. So now at least have a force by in the second round, but they've got their eyes on the prize. They want the whole dang pistol. And his device on the back play on Snappy that's taking him out of the round and giving Astralis the first kill of this pistol round. Hard to see Ants getting back in shortly, especially with all these fights still going the way of Astralis. Blame F chimes in this time around. Buzz impact again, this time on Nertz, and it's just not working out for Ents. No, Sun Pius was up at the jump up very, very quickly on that flank, but actually couldn't gain any any map control, couldn't gain any ground. So, I mean, he's just forced back right out of the gate. Great follow-up flashbang for Device after he gets the kill back in T-spawn onto Snappy that he sets up his teammates inside the bomb site and perfectly executed for Astralis. So one to nothing as they start out with the victory. And now we get to see no saved weapons. Let's see if Ants, who did four spot in the second round on Vertigo, yes. see if they do it again here. Both teams did it, actually. They both went for the CT investment on the force buy. They're going to do it. Yeah, okay. Let's go for it. Or, yeah, a little sell, a little change up. But they did commit. They recommitted into yeah. utility. Yeah, yeah. So more heavy on the nades, so perhaps an elbow nade stack, or we'll see what kind of idea Ants have up their sleeve here for this round. Instant red smoke out from Astralis. Got the mid control. Starry to Nate. That one barrage towards B lane. And backing away from the Molotov inside Jaguar. So on top of all the advantages of weaponry, Astralis have complete map control. Nothing early on. No complications encountered for mid control. And now towards Cave as well. well Star smoked out, but that won't last forever. Eventually he'll be given an access point. Yeah, it's actually, Astralis is very happy with that. That's a, that's a very early timing to force out that smoke that Ents won't have later on. So now it's going to be more decisions that they have to make as they shift the players around and see if they can find a way to stack the position of attack. But it's not happening. It's a more passive defense at the B-bomb site. So that's where Astralis is going to end this whole time. Smoke out short this time. Madden held behind it. Sends his deagle into the cubby. A dive on out. Bora clearing out in the middle of the site. It's what a shot from Buzz. Has that right between the eyes. Madden could do nothing about it. Yeah. Now for Ents, you just realize that it hasn't worked out. This round hasn't gone the way you wanted. You've invested everything into this. Might as well save it. That's a desperate hero play for Madden. I don't even mind it. Just throwing away your life and seeing if maybe you catch Astralis snoozing someone not watching for that play. Maybe you get one kill, delay the bomb plant, and allow Ents to come rotate over. Maybe you get two for some lucky reason. But obviously it doesn't happen at all. So AK-47 picked up as BlameF goes down watching for the A push. And Ents is going to play for the next round. They have armor, they have pistols, now they have an AK-47. And a scout on St. Pius. Let's not leave that bad boy out. Yeah, let's not leave that out Appreciate at all. your scouters. Yeah, especially when they're as good as St. Pius, right? <laughs> we see himself and a couple of players up with that earlier on, and can really make those pistols work. Five sevens, then only looking a couple of shots away from taking down those damaged opponents. So let's see. Let's see what St. Pius has got for us. Astralis. Clean start, kind of ex what they hope for. Not clean yet. Yeah, okay. Clean, I'd say clean, it's pretty clean. 2-0. Clean, so, clean so far. But this is normally that round where you have a little bit of an easier this time. This is where because the, mess of the Yeah, because of the save, there's still a chance that this can, this can be messy. AK-47 in the hands of Ladin. 
Looking He's for. gonna have that in red room, spamming away, hoping to get lucky with a headshot. That has not happened. Yeah, you can see Blot doesn't want to hug that wall. You know, if you tuck in on the left wall, it's a really common spam spot. So we dodged it by playing a little bit more into the middle of the map there. So Borup is able to get up to Red Room. He's not alone, so he's got Blame map here. And Vladin's tucked in the corner. Now they've got to realize they have him trapped in the corner, but Sampias is there. Scout does ring out. And that's exactly what you wanted from Sampias. At least one kill being picked up out of it. Now Madden, close quarter combat inside of the smoke. Doesn't find himself the fight he's looking for just yet, but perhaps patience might pay off. Buzz about to get the fight he's looking for. Nerds overextends into the A-peak, and Buzz nails the headshot. But good for Buzz to have a, a strong ancient here as well. He had a really tough time against Lim Vision. Yeah. Perhaps he didn't really go towards him many times on the CT side. Yeah, that great map on Overpass, though, to get this series started in that dominant victory. So that was that was nice to see. What's really nice for Astralis in this round is they took the AK-47 out early, and they've managed to control it as well as it was a MAC-10 traded out on the ground now in its place. All right, Snappy. Madden's here. Madden has come over. No one's coming to be ramp. It's all cave. Yeah, good patience on the device, good crosshair placement, locks in the headshot. Will they detect Snappy? No. So Simpice and Snappy combine. Another kill in from Snappy right at the end. Now play Map and Stare, their damaged goods, and Simpice's USP comes in, and that scout nearly makes the difference, nearly does it all. But Blame Map is able to close in the round for Astralis. All right, Jason, I take it back. It wasn't that clean, but they got it done. Yeah, they did get it done, and that, that's that's really cool. It's got to be so tough with, with Blame F. You know he's going to be coming. You just don't know with which pace he's going to be coming up that B ramp whatsoever, and Simpice with a little, little peek out almost makes that work. Snappy, this is a great sequence. Getting that second kill on device just as he disappears into the smoke. A little bit fortunate with the headshot right at the end, but it gives space and it gives the timing for Sunpias to make this play and almost make that a miraculous victory. First gun round at hand. And the first gun round for Astralis has a heavy A presence. No control anywhere else on the map. It is a full execute out of spawn. So smoke's up. They're going full commit into this A play. And this could work. The setup isn't exactly designed to deal with this. Sampias is about to be smoked out. Donut is now canceled out as well. So Sampias takes the risk. Not feeling too comfortable. Wanting to at least get something to play with. And he isn't going to make it happen. And Vladin gets caught through that Donut smoke. Blows open the smoke. But Nurse has been pushed. He's been wrapped around. And Astral is so impactful upon that A play. And because it's just so convincing as well in the entrance, they've used minimal nade. They've got so many follow-up smokes and Molotovs to make this impossible. Yeah. Oh He's got another God. one. Sun Pius never saw it somehow, and Device is able to rip his head off. Yeah, that is real tough now to swallow for Ents, because even though you want to go for the save, it isn't allowed. Astralis are denying even that bit of mercy. As they take out the AWP once, they look to do it twice. Madden White Knuckle grips the AWP in the corner back at long, but the hunt is already on, and a player close towards him in the form of Stout. He is the player that could take this AWP away from his hands. Doesn't look like they're going to force that issue, though, and he will be allowed to carry it into the next round. But Astralis with a simple call out of spawn, and they make it look easy. Yeah, uh, it's a beautiful find from Buzz onto Vladin really early on in the round, and then obviously Nertz never saw Borup creeping up towards Donut. This was Bang. a wonderful find. That's got to be a hard angle for Sun Pius to see. Very hard for him to see and uh, clearly didn't see it. So 4-0 now for Astralis. This is the kind of start they'd be looking for. It. Early obstacles for Ents as well. This was this was the question. Now they have to have someone step up again. 4 nothing. You have the AWP on Sun Pius. It's the only weapon you have, and he's negated by utility. Oh, Sun Pius getting boosted up. Ooh, did he see the arm? I don't think he spotted it. It looked like it, it was there for the taking. Well, it was obvious to us with, uh, with, with the highlighted outline, but yeah, not for him. Couldn't quite see it over the top of the smoke. And this round will slow down a little. Here comes the boost and device. It should give him a chance for the opening. It did, but difficult shot with the jiggle and the movement. The device couldn't take it away. Some pies taking the risk now, going back. This time, same angle, but this time a different result. Blame F taking off the top of heaven, and Astralis handed the deficit. And you can see some pies on the minimap hustling over to the other side of the map because he's revealed his position with the AWP, and that's well known. Astralis will know that's the only weapon they have in hand, so trying to hustle over to get to this point of attack, but he's going to be smoked off. Snappy again in the same position. Oh, Snappy, here we go. It was so nice. He's going to try it twice. 
Oh, but he's not lucky twice. He's got himself one eventually. Took way too long to get that <laughs> done, but uh, I don't know. I guess the result is still the same. He's pretty lucky he gets that kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, that was uh, that's what we call the struggle bus. Yeah, that was certainly the struggle bus, and he bought a first class ticket. 4v3, though, for Ents currently with the players, but uh, they're going to smoke out the cave. Oh, an easy round. Any means at this point for Strauss. He feels suffocated, especially with his flank from Vladen. That's Borup down. Device misses uh -oh. the shot. Oh my god, the 5 7 nails it's Device. Over. And that's it. The deep is being done. Stair needed a lineup kill, and it isn't going to happen for him. That is a ridiculous round to lose for Astralis. The pistols come into play. And you wouldn't have guessed that it started with a snappy cubby play. And then Vladin on the flank, Borup not looking the right way. And he doubles up and then nails the vice. Yeah, and the op only gets this kill. This is the only one. The saved AWP only finds the one frag right here on Blame F. This second shot on device was sick. Here Nasty. we go. Boom. Ooh, Get that, wrecked, AWP. That 5-7, baby. Yeah, the device is going to be frustrated about that one. Astralis, that's the end of their streak. That's the round that ends win. Tell you what, forgetting about that TK after a round like that. Vladen might have just got you started here on Ancient. Deep Molotovs, deep nades, and Sun Pius wants to grab an angle. No smoke so that it stays clear for him. He's got nerds towards the jump up. Yeah, since Sun Pius, aggressive, confident peek into elbow. And Borup, speaking of confidence, he senses a gap on the B ramp. He pushes a little further up into the beehive. It's always nice when you get a little piece of information of someone like crossing over to that position. Yeah, if sure. you want to be aggressive on this B ramp, just having, just knowing the information of where at least one player oh, is. And Borup. almost found it again. Yeah, you got to sink that though on that opportunity. Some pies nails his chance on Buzz on the other side of the map. A little bit of a block at the bottom of the ramp here for Astralis. They might have fumbled this. Definitely not the most comfortable position to be in for the T side, but they take a breather. They'll keep three players up, and we now head under one minute left on the clock. That was really scrappy. That was like Madden running the gauntlet back and forth. There's a gap. Yeah, spotted it. Spotted the information, oh but God. didn't swing his crosshair over fast enough. Stair's been a little bit of a monster on some of these entrances. Yeah, we're seeing some of the mechanics really come to light with his peaks. Now Nerds, he peeks out from first pyramid. Doesn't catch Blamef, who got out of dodge, and then the re-peek in from Sampias. Once again, it's Device on the other side of that. Good kill, and he stays alive, barely, as Nurse is trying to take them out, but he runs out of ammo no. on the AK, and no, what? No, he no, goes no. back for the peak? That's maybe a little too bold there from Nurse. He's, he's just setting up his boy to have another highlight. Yeah, that's it. Vladin, this is his chance. This is the round. This is the clutch he's looking for. Device taken out first, and it's up against Flame F. Oh! oh! And Vladin's got it. Headshot nailed on Flame F. He goes for the confident peak, and Vladin is able to get the job done. Absolutely zero to hero here. Vladin's having some huge impact on Ancient. And we talked about Blame F and Device in clutches have been uh, just ace today. And that's a 1v2 that they lose. Or 2v1, I should say, that they lose to Vladin. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about earlier on today. Sure, it was sick that Device and Blame F were able to win a lot of those yeah. rounds. But the talking point was the fact that Limvision were clearly showing signs of being inexperienced in those kind of scenarios. You know, opportunities being given up, peaks being shown right at the last second. With Ensa's level, you know, you shouldn't really expect too many of those. But well, Vladen's giving him the business right now. That's back-to-back -back rounds that he's the yeah, exactly. and secure. Once with a 5-7 with a double kill and now a 1v2 victory. Huge step up from Vladen. That's going to give him a lot of confidence. Here's some pious buzz. Not really figuring out that A lurk at all. You know, he's tried it a couple of times to be sort of pressure lurk, and each time just getting caught. Nerds, I cannot believe he went for the re-peak with it, the eagle. It's been it's been crazy, like watching this like Sun Pius device, like device op exchanges across the series. If you think back to overpass, remember how many times device just had like yeah, Sun Pius pinned number. down and was just ready to pick him off as soon as he peaked. It's yeah. happening again, and Sun Pius has just got to be so paranoid every time he makes a decision to slide out and take an angle. Alone at the A bomb site with the office Sun Pius, and he's gonna have a full set piece coming his way. He's got the first Whoa. one easy. The first one's free. Now, this is the kind of position where if he was to re-peak, Device is now posted. So he'll probably think twice about doing that. It has to jump back into the temple. Will his praise be heard, Ooh. though? It's Buzz making his way in towards the side flat and taken out. But Nerds down through the smoke. It's an exchange of spam from both sides. Those flashbangs from Astralis are absolutely picture perfect. Madden inside the smoke wants to make a play, waiting for the bomb to be tapped. Yeah, here's it. The commitment to the bomb plant, but he isn't going to move on it. Now he will. Smoke fades away, and he has a gap, he has a corridor of safety, thanks to that smoke, and he'll smoke out Donut. 
This gives Ents a chance. Away back in. Shot up towards the back of the side. It's Blame F to take out Madden. Bit of an opportunity now for Ents to pull off this retake. And they feel uncomfortable and they need that off to create some space. And that's exactly what it does. But it's a battle of the Alpers. Device and some pious blow for blow again. Both still standing this time around. And it's Blame F alongside Device. That combo usually so strong, but Blame F is gone. And Device just in the post plant, missing shots right between the wickets. This time he nails it. And it's down to Sapias. There's not enough time. He has to retreat. Astralis have held on. And in particular, Device getting it done. Yeah, Device just being a nuisance that whole round, holding great deep angles, making sure nobody can begin this retake. And at the end, the constant repeats, just not allowing Enz to get settled to actually tap the bomb and defuse the bomb inside the smoke. Constant pressure. But that bomb blast is massive because Astralis don't have enough money to get the all back from the vice. So we've just seen how impactful his AWP has been in a couple of these rounds for Astralis. It's not there anymore. And a five on four. Those flashbangs to allow Buzz to get that entrance is so good. And that's kept pulling it right back into their favor. That's a beautiful kill from Snappy. And painful they can't close it out. It's the same story for Ents right now, too. They don't have enough money for that oh, AWP. Economy is busted on both yeah, sides right now. We got, and bruised. we got a couple SMGs in both squads. This is going to be a scrappy round. Yeah. Tactical timeout for Astralis. Second used. This is a, a swing round. Important to win this one if you want to have control of the economy. And, and more so for rents. You, you know, they don't have that buffer that Astralis have. You let them take control of this economy. You let them take control of the whole game. Look at this from Playmap. Look how much ground he's got already. I don't think they've spotted it either. I don't no, think they, they have any idea. Sun Pius, you got a big job to do. Wide swing, Device picks him off. Madden trying to wrap around. Buzz is taking care That's of that. It. Oh, now Blame F's positioning wow. is so strong in middle. What a call. A minute and 30 seconds, and the knockout punch has already been delivered. Yeah, three kills in that space of time. That is so wild. Ents just looked completely unaware of what was coming their way. Sampias is very frustrated, I'm sure, about that. You know, just holding down the B bomb side. Wasn't even ready for the ramp play coming up as white. It's, I mean, it's also a great call in terms of uh, understanding where the economy's at for Ents as well. Yeah. Like, they don't have the deep Molotovs and the deep nades to chuck down middle. They don't have, the, likely, the deep Molotovs, you know, towards B ramp to slow things down. So as Charles know, they have, like, that, there's that little bit of a window, a bigger window of opportunity early on to oh. gain some space and make a play. Oh, they're going to take everything away. Astralis, this is the perfect scenario. Not only do you win the round almost immediately, but you also keep all five of your players alive and don't let them save anything. So this is the best scenario for Astralis yeah. in terms of building economy now. You've shattered Ents. Interesting decision here for some pies uh, and the boy, or rather Snappy and the boys here to, to call. And some pies has gone towards the scout. Well, I see what he can do with it. And I guess a little half investment, light buy, upgrade pistols here and there. And the scout of some pies can often do wonders. It's a full losing bonus for Ents. So even with this kind of investment down to where they're at, they'll have plenty of money in the next round. And once again, Device is going to gain some ground at B ramp, looking to challenge early, holding an angle, seeing if anyone's going to wander into the crosshair. Yeah, it's a great point from the previous round from you about the, the lack of utility. Again, Astralis making the most of that and taking B ramp, realizing they probably don't have the utility to barrage the bottom of the ramp and prevent you from taking it. And oh my god, okay. Device with a lineup through the wood. He killed Snappy through the smoke in this series. Now through the wood, and Snappy I, can't catch a break. And I believe he just spotted two out towards long. Yeah, this is a massive round. Just information gathering and a kill from Device. Yeah, and you can see them already shifting back towards middle where they already have control. So just saying, well, we, we've seen a number of players at this bomb site. Let's go towards middle. Let's go towards the weak side. Nerds tries to make a play shut down immediately by Stair. Yeah, he's out of there. No problem at all here. Astralis maybe just getting another one here. Device is inside of the Red Room Smoke. Yikes. Ships in the night. Madden's behind him. Hello! There's the knife kill. Shank him up. Take the AK-47. Thank you very much, Device. Well, I guess that will be the highlight of the round for Ents. That's great money. It's fantastic money for Madden. Yeah, in a situation where you're running out of funds, that extra, that extra kill reward of the Ooh. knife is huge. Shadow shows, but... Buzz ain't ever going to repeat that, ain't ever going to go back. He's backing away completely to get away from the bomb. So Sun Pius looking to get one kill on exit, but he's missed the chance. Yeah, he's just trying to cast him. Oh, damage being done. Might prevent Blame F from being able to get to Sanctuary. But because he's quick on his heels, he should be able to get away. Seven to two. Yeah. 
kind of crazy. But that's that swing round previously. Did allow Charles to extend their lead even further. But the money is once again returned to the banks of Ents. This is where you need another one of those big rounds from someone from, from Ents. Like, yeah. Kind of like how you had Sun Pius with the clutch on Vertigo. But this th that a big round right now to let Ents close the gap and keep this game close going into the second half is everything. Otherwise, Astralis has hit that point, it feels like, where they've got that momentum and they're working the map really well, making great calls. Blame F is having a, a wonderful game. They've got the mid-utility this time to prevent that oh quick mid-take, but they nade stack nerds. Very common nades from CSGO, but it's the it's the nade lineup that Nurse walks right into. And again, it's 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 all based off of economy. Like previously, fast paced when you know the, the money is low and they don't have utility. This time they have a full buy, and you're like, they might get a little bit crazy. Let's let's pre nade this and just see what happens. Yeah, well, they're already penetrated this B bomb site. Oh, <laughs> just like that, the smoke just disappears, and on the other side of it is four Astralis players looking right into your soul. Stare will reap the soul of Snappy, and with down to just three X players, some pie is taken out, obliterated through the smoke. Absolutely nothing he can do. And it has to be the safe call for Rents. It's a tough pill to swallow. It does not taste good. It does not go down easy. But Astralis, eight rounds are force-feeding Rents. That's actually so funny, that POV of the nade blowing open. That's kind of what Madden. we <laughs> imagined, you know, when yeah. we heard that you can blow nades open in CS2. That is exactly the round you, em you just envisage that and you see it. It gives you advantage over the people trying to make those grimy plays around edges of smokes. Yeah. I love it. Bang, and your cover's gone. Eight to two. Astralis now just, just tearing apart Ents. This is feeling much more like map one than map two. Yeah, it really is. And you're right, you know, we have we had to see a moment like the Sumpias clutch. That was what really spurred them into a position where they were able to compete on Vertigo and get back into the game. Even, even at that point, before that clutch, it was actually looking comfortable for Astralis. <laughs> this is it from the other side of the POV, but a lot nicer for it. <laughs> that sucks. It's just a firing squad. It's so ridiculous. There's nothing you can do about that. It's like, oh, suddenly I am screwed. But uh, yeah, it's it's. I, I mean, he's he's the one trying to put himself in a position to make that kind of a play, right? He's trying to get himself in a position where he can have a jump as they get into the bomb site to maybe grab one or two and make it a doable retake and yeah. just obliterated. If you think about all of the big games that Ants have had on Ancient, and particularly on the CT side, yeah, Madden is a player that steps up at a lot of those important matches on that B bomb site. He, he's often around long, getting multi kills. He's really struggled to put any numbers up. And that's after a really good performance on Vertigo. Now coming over here, he's only got two kills. It's quite came from everyone on Ents, uh, if, we're, if we're realistic here. Yeah, that's true. Not enough firepower across the board. And look at look at all the confidence Again. that Astralis has. And this one's just basically a rush with AK-47. So they, they stop a little bit short with the Molotov. They've gotten great space, not giving away any indication this is coming. At some point, Madden's likely to just walk into his death. Yeah, Blimap's just at the top of the ramp. Now it just pumps the brakes. Just patient. He knows if he crosses over, there's a chance that the AWP could be scoped up on him. And he will be correct in assuming so. Waiting on utility from his teammates to come in. Make it a lot easier for Blamef not to leave this position. There's the peak though. Madden was ready. Madden swings with a flash assist from some pious. And now Device, look at his strike. It's Borov creating space, moving forward, taking down Madden and Snappy. And that's the B-bomb site under wraps. Borup keeps going. He knows he might be caught between a sandwich, but that's an important kill for Nerds. But once more, it is Borup stepping up on this B attack. Nerds has to clutch this alone. Thrust into a winnable round, but peak on the double. And it'll be Astralis up to nine. Yeah, just just working it, man. And and this is now this has gotten so out of control. When Astralis has that kind of confidence and is more than willing to just rush up the B ramp and just hold that position for the entire round, they're feeling this game and they know they've got Ents against the ropes. Yeah. Continually applying pressure. And you see Castle getting hyped up with Boar up there, getting behind him, firing up. Not a player that is often given the accolades of being a, a top fragger for the team, finding that level of impact. But Boar up running in, breaking through some really essential kills there and confidence. <laughs> doing it again. Oh my god, they're doing it again. <laughs> and Madden isn't ready. He's not ready for it once more. Sapias under so much pressure. And this time it's Device. Astralis are bullying Ants on the B bomb site. Throw in the towel. This one's this one's over. This one is so over. Here's Vlad in round the back. It's a kill on Buzz, sure, but 2v3. 
Nurse is the only player close to this B bomb site. There's just no respect being shown for Ents right now by Astralis. The utility isn't there, man. They're not stopping them. You it, know, you, yeah. if you're using light blame F on a B ramp like that every round, sure, he's gonna do it. Where's the Molotovs? Where's the nade? I mean, you gotta say, this is this is awesome for an Astralis that came into this event with question marks to that disappointing exit at Rubet, not even making it deep. They haven't shown a great level in the online matches leading into this event, and all of a sudden, this looks like a different squad. Man, this is an Astralis we were talking about this morning, possibly losing to Lin Vision, right? Yeah. This is, you know, if we've seen this Astralis, and we knew that this is the level they were coming into the event, absolutely no questions they should have been taking that, and this is really exciting to see and play towards this level. And they're only a few rounds away, three rounds away from a semi-final placing. And with this kind of performance out of stare, device, blame F, this is what you would want to see. Even Borup is up there on this map. 10 kills for him yeah. tied with device and stare. I mean, it is, I think the, the trio you would like to frag out, it is stare, device, and blame F. You know, stare is brought into this team because he is sort of an exciting talent. Didn't really live up to that just yet. So given him some time, it, it, it'll be interesting to see if he can get up to this level consistently. Again, this is, of course, an ends with a stand-in, right? We, yes. we have to reiterate that point. They are playing with Vladin instead of Diha, who, of course, is such an impactful player for them. But still impressive, nonetheless. And look, by, by, by the benefit of Vence's game earlier, like this is again not an elimination game. This isn't any kind of catastrophe for Vence. They still make the quarterfinals. Yeah. You've got some time to figure things out to get you know to get your stand in a little bit more on the same page down the road for the playoffs that are going to come. But certainly at the moment, all the talk is 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 around Astralis, and just just not even. Not even the victory, but the way that they're winning this map. Just like what they ended this with, like essentially three B ramp rushes or fast aggressions. Here we go. This could be an absolute obliteration from Play Map. The dual Barretta is in towards A main. Vladen is gone. He rolls the dice. He's been lucky twice here at Play Map. He gets out of that. He does not want to get involved in that. Dual Barretta is. Looking for long-range fights out of cave, down to elbow from device. Oh, a little and, bit ambitious, and but he's, he's going to run back. Enz is so tentative about this as well. Like, no one trying to aggress and, and pick off and, and trade off Blame F. Look at the positioning of Stare. Okay, so the map's just closed off. Yep. They realize, oh, we have nothing. Literally nothing. Okay, so difficult time ahead here for Enz. They've just got to try and fight their way out. When you're in a pit of despair, you either die or you try and climb out of it, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a sad proverb. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ancient, ancient speech. That one's gonna. Ancient wisdom. That one's gonna stick. We'll, we'll write that one down. <laughs> oh, device. Not there even gonna get me caught unawares. A little bit of a fake being thrown towards the A bomb so they can have mid access. And device knows that's the bomb. Easy kill for him. And this pistol round was out of control from the get go. Astralis up 11 to 2. I would argue was very well in Astralis' control that whole time. That was just unbelievably strong for them again. You know, just perfect movement. They could go wherever they wanted. They had full map control. Well, it's, it's, it's exactly the philosophy they were doing in the first half, which is just, we are going to be supremely confident. We are going to be in your face. We are going to push up. And, and that's exactly how we saw them bullying Ents towards the end of the first yeah. half. And you, you have no other option here, Ents. There's no talk about ecos and trying to play for the gun rounds at this point. You haven't got enough rounds on the board to really discuss that. So you've got to go for the investment. You've got the MAC-10s, the Deagles, the Tech-9s. Doesn't feel too good here. Oh, Borup got a little bit banger. scared. Yeah, careful with that FAMAS. It's not exactly the best weapon in the world. <laughs> Stair's gonna find the opening kill. The rest of Ents is, is still here over towards B lane, but no one's really pushing forward. Out in the open, Madden loves that fight with the Deagle. Gonna step up for the next one. It seemed like Borup really loved that fight too. Really forcing the issue. Blame F this time offers himself up. We'll get traded out by Vladin. Now Stare overwhelmed by the Tech-9. So they've given them all the fights they want. They've given them the chance here. And so on pistols into the site. Device comes to clean it all up. And the bomb plant is locked in for Snappy. But he needs more than that at this point. He needs a clutch. Oh. And Device just isn't going to let it happen. Absolutely no mercy from Device. Yeah, he got a dink off Snappy on that first bullet. Just uh, just lands right in the helmet of Device. But not able to find not, not enough time to get off a second shot. 12 to 2. Astralis is going to be moving on to the semifinals of the CS Asia Championships 2023. Very bold prediction of you, Jason. Yeah, I know. Uh... I'm calling it a little <laughs> bit early. Just a little bit. It's not a bad day in the office. We touched on this earlier. One best of one victory over Lin Vision, the series victory over Ents with a stand-in, and you find yourself in top four guaranteed. Yeah. 
it's really exciting for for Astralis to to have a good run at the the event. I mean, this is a team when they do have a few pop off land events throughout the year. Even when things are looking rough, they had a deep run at Cologne in, in 22. Earlier this year, had moments in Dallas. So definitely a team that when they come to land can perform a lot better. And that walk from Ents, that slow walk into the MTA bomb site. I think they'll be very happy with this outcome. Yeah, this map at the moment, with the way the kind of spawns have changed, the way it's playing in CS2, feels very much like uh, extremities are getting all the attention. We're not seeing a whole lot of that mid control anymore because it's so it's uh, such a such a risk, such it's so much more difficult now. So if Stralis want to close it now. If they want to go to the semifinals in this round, they've got to play in a retake. They've got the opening kill. They've got the advantage for the retake. So the numbers are with them. The utility's in, and there's the follow-up kill. Now they're coming through the temple. Ence's light is starting to fade away. They're starting to run out of chances, and they're starting to run out of players. It will be Astralis heading to the semifinals. Day one is perfect for Astralis. They get the best of one under their belt, and now a best of three versus Ence. Astralis can leave today with their hell heads held high. Yeah, and both map victories in the series against Ence, 13 to two. Dominant wins on Overpass, dominant win here on Ancient, obviously, and that's that's a statement for Astralis. They've come into this tournament to, to play, and this is this is a winnable event for them. And